get me out the dark Finally I can see you crystal clear Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your ship back Every day I'm shuffling Take my 
horse through the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the bushes black to match. Riding on a horse, ha, you can whip your Porsche. I've been in the valley, you ain't been up off that porch now. Nah, can't nobody tell me. Stumbling around in the dark. State your business or prepare to get way. You mailed in my company a postcard a few weeks back requesting information on penny stocks that had huge upside potential with very little downside risk. Does that ring a bell? Oh, yeah, I may have sent it. Okay, great. Well, reason for the call today, John, is something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? Name of the company, Aerotine International. It is a cutting-edge, high-tech firm out of the Midwest awaiting imminent patent approval on a next generation of radar detectors that have both huge military and civilian applications. Now, right now, John, the stock trades over the counter at 10 cents a share. And by the way, John, our analysts indicate it could go a heck of a lot higher than that. Your profit on a mere $6,000 investment would be upwards of $60,000. Jesus, that's my mortgage, man. Exactly, you could pay off your mortgage. This stock will pay off my house. John, one thing I can promise you, even in this market, is that I never ask my clients to judge me on my winners. I ask them to judge me on my losers because I have so few. And in the case of Aerotime, based on every technical factor out there, John, we are looking at a grand slam home run. 4,000, that'd be 40,000 shares, John. Let me lock in that trade right now and get back to you with my secretary with an exact confirmation. Sound good, John? Yeah, sounds good. Great. Hey, John, thank you for your vote of confidence and welcome to the Investor Center.
Got room for one more? Who the hell are you? And what happened to them? <laughs> Name's Major Marcus Warren, former U.S. Cavalry. Currently a servant of the court. Trying to bring a couple no goods in the market. Got the paperwork on them in my pocket. You taking them into Red Rock? Figure that's what you Pull back off of us. Just don't say anything, all right? Okay. Don't look at them. Don't be scared. All right. Let me do all the talking. Hey, fellas, where are we going? Can I talk to you for a minute? First of all, could you take your hoodie off for me? Wait, what, what did we do wrong? Nobody hey, did. you with the black sweatshirt. Yo, my man, turn around. He's all right. We didn't do anything. Oh, oh, get back here. Go. Oh. hands are registered as lethal weapons. That means we get into a fight, I accidentally kill you, I go to jail. Anybody accidentally kills anybody in a fight, they go to jail. It's called manslaughter. And I think all that lethal weapon horse shit is just an excuse so you dancers never have to get in a real fight. Okay. How about a friendly contest? No punching in the face. Two out of three. Who puts who on the ground first? Nobody tries to hurt nobody. Just who ends up on their butt? That's a great idea, Cato. You know, Bruce, that guy's kind of famous. That guy? For what? Killed his wife and got away with it. That guy? That guy.
Not bad, Cato. <clears throat> Try that again. This is an ABC News special report. A major earthquake shook the Caribbean nation of Haiti late today. It hit just 14 miles in the capital city, Port-au-Prince. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. CNN projects that Barack Obama will be re-elected president of the United States. He will remain in the White House for another four years. Good afternoon, I'm George Stephanopoulos in New York. We're interrupting your program because there have been two explosions today at the Boston Marathon. Two explosions near the finish line just a short while ago. Breaking news tonight, a Malaysia Airlines flight with 239 people on board, including four Americans, has gone missing. At this hour, a desperate search is underway for MH Flight 370. First, we want to get to the breaking news. Newly leaked emails from the Clinton campaign now raising more questions as Hillary gets ready to hit the trail with First Lady Michelle Obama today. And so a, a huge change of events here. Bloomberg News characterizing this in light of that projection from the Associated Press. Donald Trump poised uh, to become uh, the president of the United States of America. At least 58 people now dead. More than 500 people wounded in a horrific shooting on the Las Vegas Strip. It's the deadliest mass shooting in modern United States history. Breaking news, you might say heartbreaking news. A heartbreaking day in Florida, and sadly, an all too familiar one. 17 people are now confirmed dead. We know at least three people still in critical condition after police say that a shooter, believed to be just 19 years old, opened fire at his former high school. We do have breaking news tonight, a deeply divided moment playing out in American history as we come on the air. President Trump has just been impeached on both Article 1, abuse of power, and on Article 2, obstruction of Congress. The votes down party lines as predicted. And